Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins, and welcome to the NFL Halftime Report for week number eight of the 2014 regular season. I'm Peter Wiggins, and let's start you off at Gillette Stadium, where how are you liking this game today? Patriots fans, the Patriots, total domination at Gillette Stadium so far at halftime. A 38-7 lead over the Chicago Bears. Here is Rob Gronkowski, 6-yard pass from Tom Brady. 7 up in favor of the Patriots. And then, second quarter, David Guskowski, 23-yard field goal drive to make it 10 up in favor of the Patriots here. And then Tim Rat, 1-yard pass from Tom Brady to make it 17 up in favor of the Patriots. And then, Matt Forte, 25-yard pass from Jake Sutter as the Bears cut the Patriots lead to 17-7. But then, the Patriots broke this game wide open here as Bob Gronkowski, a 2-yard pass from Tom Brady to make it 24-7 in favor of the Patriots. And then, after the Patriots got a fumble recovery, Brendel fell, 9-yard pass bam. Tom Brady make it 31-7 in favor of the Patriots. And then, Rob Ninkovich, a 15-yard fumble return for a touchdown as the New England Patriots are cruising here in the, against the Bears like a fast car going down Route 1 in Foxburg. 38-7, the Pats lead the Bears here. Okay, other inning, fell action here. Over the pond in London here. The Detroit Lions escape the Atlanta Falcons out in London on a last second field goal by Matt Prater. 22-21 here as Atlanta Falcons open up a 21-0 lead here at the first touchdown. Devonta Freeman, a 7-yard pass for Matt Ryan to make it 7-0 in favor of the Falcons here. And then... Bear Pasco, a one-yard pass for Matt Ryan, and they make it 14 enough in favor of the Falcons. And then, Steven Jackson, a one-yard touchdown, and one to make it 21 enough in favor of the Falcons. But then, they've come back, begins for the Lions, as Matt Prater, 23-yard field goal to make it 21-3 in favor of the Falcons here. And then, Golden Tate, 59-yard pass for Matt Fierce Stafford to make it 22-21-10 in favor of the Falcons. And then, Matt Prater, 20-yard field goal to make it 21-13 in favor of the Falcons there. And then, Theo Riddick, a five-yard pass by Matthew Snap in the pass bail. 21-19, and the Lions complete the comeback as Matt Prater, 48-yard field goal with no time on the clock as the Detroit Lions escape the Falcons from London. 22-21 here. Down in Carolina here. The Carolina Panthers are leading the Seattle Seahawks. 6-3 here. As the Panthers got a pair of field goals from Graham Gingham from 31 yards to 26 yards. And Stephen Oshka, 58-yard field goal as the Panthers lead the Seahawks. 6-3. A battle for the AFC North. Dan and Cincy here. The Cincinnati Bengals are leading the Baltimore Ravens. 14-6 here as Andy Dalton so far. 7-9 for 1 8 yards of no touchdowns here. As Andy Dalton a 1 yard run to make it 7 enough in favor of the Bell of the Bengals there. And then the Ravens got a pair of field goals from Justin Tucker from 45 50 yards to cut the Bengals lead to 7 6 at halftime. And then Giovanni Bernard 1 yard run as the Cincinnati Bengals lead the Baltimore Ravens in the third quarter. 14 6 here. Battle of 95 and Florida here between the Miami Dolphins and the Jacksonville Jaguars here. As Miami Dolphins have a 10 3 lead on the Jacksonville Jaguars here. As the Miami Dolphins open the score on a on a Lewis Delmas 81 yard interception return to make it 7 0 in favor of the Dolphins. And then Josh Scobie kicks a 30 yard field goal to make it 7 3 in favor of the Dolphins and then Sturgis a 43 yard field goal as the Dolphins carry a 10 3 lead into the third quarter here. In a battle of I 70. A battle to show me state the Kansas City Chiefs are leading the St. Louis Rams 17 7 here. Yes. Vince Kendricks and one yard pass for him. Austin Davis to make it 7-0 in favor of the Rams. But then, second quarter, 
Jamal charged a one yard run to tie it at seven apiece, and then Kyra sent us a 53 yard field goal to make it 10 7 favor of the Chiefs, and then in third quarter. Now Davis, 99 yard kickoff return as the Chelsea Chiefs are leading the St. Louis Rams. 17 7 in the third quarter here. Down in the middle and here, a best scoring matchup between two old AFL Rebels here in the AFC East as the Buffalo Bills have laid the New York Jets at the halftime break. 24-17 here as Robert Woods gets a 22-yard pass from Kyle Warden to make it 7 enough in favor of the Bills. And then, Play Smith, 1-yard pass from Kyle Warden to make it 14 enough in the favor of the Bills. But then the second quarter, Chris Avery scores at a 2-yard run to make it 14-7 in favor of the Bills. But then, Frank Summers, a Two-yard run and to make it 21-7 in favor of the Bills. And then Dan Carpenter, a 53-yard field goal attempt to make it 24-7 in favor of the Bills. But then the Jets make things interesting. As Chris Avery, a two-yard run to make it 24-14 in favor of the Bills. And then Nick Falk, a 55-yard field goal attempt. As the Buffalo Bills are leading the New York Jets at halftime break, 21-17 near. And down in Tampa Bay, the Minnesota Vikings are leading the Tampa Bay Buccaneers by a count of three nothing here as the lone score on a player Walsh. 46 yard field goal drive here. And down in Tennessee, the Houston Texans are leading the former Houston Oilers, otherwise known as the Tennessee Titans, 13 3 as after. After Rand Sukup opening the scoring for the Titans with a 35 yard field goal drive. Randy Bullock answer with a 30-yard field goal drive to make it 3-3 to the score. And Arian Foster, a 34-yard run to make it 10-3 in favor of the Texans. And Ryan Bullock. And Randy Bullock, a field goal from 29 yards right as the Houston Texans lead in the Tennessee Titans. 13-3 here. Okay. Take a look at the stats of the Patriots game. Dynamite. Dynamite. Mm. 18 for 21 for Brady, 2 or 3 yards and 4 touchdowns. From Grant Cox, a pair of touchdowns from Armour, 3 yards. And Randall LaVell, 88 yards and 1 touchdown. So, my third as the Patriots wrapped up 22 first down to the Bears, 9. 298 yards, a match for the Patriots, to 190 yards for the Bears. And 5 penalties for the Bears for 41 yards, 6 for Patriots for 34 yards and Bears. Got 2 turnovers there. And 4 punts for 33 yards. And time of possession, 83 and Bears 11-22. So, my third quarter, fourth quarter game plan for the Patriots. Keep up the good work. Continue scoring. Eat up much time. And get out of here with an easy W here. As I'll see you for the sports better as we recap the Patriots and the Bears. After the Pats-Bears game, stay tuned. Go